and developing this morning, school officials across Metro Atlanta are working on ways to better protect students and teachers. It comes after a recent increase in violence on campuses. The most recent one, a student was arrested and charged for attacking another student with a pencil at Gwinnett County High School. And look at this video. A day before that, an APS resource officer shot a mother in the hand after the district says she showed up to campus with a gun following a st student fight. 11 Lives Brittany Klein Peter is live outside Fulton County's Board of Education to walk us through this plan that really is just a way to try to work together to keep kids safe. That's right. Fulton County school leaders say, you know, they're not the only one in being impacted by this issue. It is across the board, but they want to form a team effort, a coalition to really tackle it. Yesterday, the district superintendent met with police chiefs, mayors and children protection agencies from across the county for a safety summit. The meeting comes at a time the district says that students are struggling to readjust back to the classroom following the pandemic. Fulton County school leaders admitted that they are dealing with record expulsions and that students are bringing weapons to campus at an alarming rate. Attendees say some of the issues involve a lack of leadership guiding youth in the communities. These young people are our future. We need to make sure that there are adults who truly care about education and our children by not having those folks involved we miss an opportunity to help a young person. Organizers say some of their biggest concerns involve gang violence as well as social media being used to ensue fights among teens. They're also concerned about a lack of communication across municipalities, which is why they're hoping these meetings become a regular occurrence. Cheryl. Yeah, something all the districts are seeing, but maybe they can find a solution together. Brittany, thank you.